with the, protect, with, the, with the possibility of the sanctions hitting the prices or the incentives? What are you going to, do, you feel, do you feel like you're being bashed on both sides? No, I, I think we're getting more and more confident, uh, and I agree fully with what Andrew is saying. Um, you know, obviously we look at this, and I think this is a fantastic debate, and I really thank all of the uh, panelists for coming along. I, I would point out one thing. Total's net earnings last year was 23.2 billion US dollars. The whole airline industry's net earnings in 2023 was 27 billion. So, you know, when we talk about a level playing field, we don't have a level playing field. The, the fuel companies who produce the problem, if you like, because the, the carbon, the CO2 is coming from the fuel. It's not actually coming from you know, the airplane per se. You know, we need to see fuel companies like Total investing significant sums of money in the development of sustainable aviation fuel. That's the reality of where we are. Uh, we all want to get to net zero in 2050. Uh, there will be a many different ways of getting there. But the good news is that this year, only about 6% of renewable fuels will go to aviation. So th there are a lot of renewable fuels out there. You know, what we want to see is that more of that production goes to aviation. And why doesn't it go to aviation? Because there are incentives for the production of other renewable fuels that aren't available for aviation. So when I look at what's going on, my view is that the incentive, the carrot approach, is the best way of assisting our industry to get to net so, zero. And, and the other point I would make, and I said in my speech yesterday, the 5% target in 2030 is a government target. It's, a, it's ICAO, it's the collection of governments. It's not what the industry is targeting, because we're sitting there and we're saying, actually, 5% in 2030 is going to be incredibly ambitious. So given, let me finish, right, given that they put the target in place, I think governments have a responsibility to assist in, in, in achieving the target that they set. How did you end up in a situation? <laughs> How did you end up in a situation where once again aviation is stuck in the middle between these different uh, global uh, government bodies, and you're going to end up paying the bill? It's a real achievement. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, we, we, we work hard to do that, uh, and thank you for the media's assistance. We always blame you, as you know, but uh, no, look, it, it's the reality of where we are. But, but this dialogue, exactly as the comment has been uh, made, and, and I really do appreciate the, the panellists, it is important that we're all in the same room talking to one another. And I think part of the problem has been the, this discussion has gone on to answer to that. without everybody participating in the discussion. Thank you. Anna. 